Hi, and welcome to today's show. Later, we'll be joined by Becky Dreyer, who's going to show us a fantastic scrapbook page using the Paper Mania All Aboard collection. First of all, I just want to show you this. This has been sent in by Doreen O'Brien, ah. who is one of our um, Creativity Club design team members. Um, and she has done something slightly different with her um, X-Cut Builder Scene die. She's used the Tea Party um, dies. That looks fantastic. And instead of making a card, a normal card, she's actually made... So it goes flat. And it's then, like an easel card yes, on top. that's right, yeah. And, and then, then underneath she's got, got little, sets of drawers. Tiny little drawers here. A good, really good oh. gift, wouldn't it? You could pop little treats in there. Yeah. So. I really like it. It's tone on tone as well. She's yeah. sort of kept to one, one colour group there. She's a very talented lady. Very clever. All her stuff, you can see all her stuff in the Ducrafts Gallery. Um, but her cards, her projects that she's done are absolutely amazing. So um, thank you very much for that, Doreen. And do try and check her out if you can. So, um, so should we bring Becky onto the show yes. now? Yep. Come on, Becky. Yay. Hello. Hello. What are you going to be showing us today? This looks exciting. Yeah, I'm going to be showing you this um, layout here, how to create this using the nautical um, build a scene die. Yep. Um, and just wow. actually a larger photo this time. We've not gone for the, the six by six. That's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. Well, this is really exciting. Photo. I've never used so, a huge yeah. photo on my projects before. So. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, Katie, do you want to, to disappear? I'll pop off. <laughs> yeah, and then we can make a start. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Okay. Right, Becky, should we make a start? Yeah, definitely. As I said earlier, we're not going to be using a, a normal 6x4 photo or 5x7, yeah. you know, which are the two kind of sizes that our scrapbookers tend to like to scrapbook with. Yeah. Um, I'm actually blessed to have a brother who's a photographer, so he sent me this beautiful picture here of actually a friend of wow. mine out windsurfing. Um, what I actually did was move it to the side when I printed it out, but you can see there's all this lovely... Yeah, area here now this is A4 size, okay, right, that okay. I'm using here, and I've just printed it out on my computer, okay, right. Okay. Um, so but I am using a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock, cardstock here, yeah, okay. okay. Um, but what I want to do first is I'm using this lovely paper from the All Aboard, it is beautiful. I love the All Aboard range, Fantastic, it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, so what I've done this was an A, uh, this was one of the 12 by 12 sheets here. And I've just cut a couple of strips right, okay. off here. So yeah. we're literally, we don't need, because our photo is big, we don't need a lot of um, the paper. Yeah, the papers, you know? yeah. Because I want the main focus to be my photo. Yeah, okay. okay. So what I'm going to do is just to stick this along, one along at the top here. We're just going to go straight along the top. You can leave a small border if you want to. It's up to you. And then another one down the bottom here. Now the next thing I want to do is to put my photo down. Now I always find when I'm using these these kind of photos they curl a, a little bit. Yeah. So yeah. just make sure when you're putting your glue down that you know you're up right up right to the, the edge. Edges, yeah. You know? Now, as you can see here, you've got the wave coming here. This is where he's jumped. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what I wanted to do was to use the the lovely nautical die, the one that gives the waves, to create like right, an yeah. effect that he's coming Out up and off the, the yeah. water. You see. So what I did was I just chose two different shades here. Of this is from the A4 capsule collection pack. Just two different shades of blue. Yeah. And I alternate alternate. Yeah. You know the word. Yeah. I'm to find. <laughs> Um, the pieces here, okay. Now the way I do it is I just pop this on yep. to there first, okay. Sandwich it between your bits, okay. There, and then we'll pop that through. Oop, just to make sure that's cut, I'm just going to go run it back through again, okay. Okay. Now, as you can see there, that's the cut out there. Yeah. So if you just push that along there, now it's quite good. These little loops here kind of match in with where it ends okay, right, okay so it's like brilliant. a little groove so it yeah. just sits in there so just lightly push that into there to sit in there and then we'll just feed that back through oops feed that back through the big shot here oh could you hold it again yeah. that's it thanks And then that just will give you a continuous line there for your, for your wave. So I'll just take Brilliant. that, just show you there. 
Oh, we got a viewer's question. Thank you. So this is from Angela from Batley, and she says, my friend, oh, this is perfect. My friend is an avid card maker. How can I convert them into scrapbooking? Ooh. I like the questions like yeah, this. Yeah, those are good questions. Um, a great example is we've recently had Becky James on the show, and um, she we've been trying to get her to do scrapbooking for ages, um, for probably years, and she's always been a card maker, and she's been a bit too frightened to go into scrapbooking. So we set her the challenge of um, showing a mini book, doing a mini book, and um, we've converted her into scrapbooking from doing this. So it's it quite good to get into scrapbooking as a card maker from starting off with mini books or start smaller. So you've got a six by six page, for yeah, example. Definitely. Don't go straight to the 12 by 12 page because no, that can be no. quite frightening because you've got so much space to fill. Yes. Um, so I would say, me personally, I would say start with a smaller page. Yeah, definitely. And the other thing you could say to her as well is that, you know, where she's using her toppers is to change those to a photo. Yes. So you're yes. actually not doing anything different apart from changing your topper to a photo. Yeah. And then it will just expand from there. Yeah. You know, it is a question I'm asked quite regularly. Because a lot of the that. stuff that you use on your scrapbook pages are what you use in your card making as well. Yeah, so it's definitely. not like you have to go out and buy a whole new no. set of things at all. You can just start doing little transformations, yeah, couldn't you? That's yeah, that's it, yeah. And actually a lot of people now I know will card make on like even eight by eight sizes and things like that. Yes, yes. So that's you true. know, you you're there basically. Yeah, yeah. It's just adding the photos, photos and, yeah. and making memories for those future generations, yeah, you know. Yeah. So Brilliant. Yeah. That's so. a great question. Thank you. What I'm going to use here now is just the Artiste white pigment right, ink. Okay. Okay. Um, biggest thing to just remember when you're using pigment ink is it will dry, but it will take a little bit longer to dry. Right. Okay. So if you're impatient, you can heat gun it yeah, or just yeah. leave it to one side here. Yeah. But it does give you this really nice smoky kind of yeah. effect to the water yeah. there. And all I did was literally just run it over the top here. And you can see, just be careful when you're doing these little bits yeah, here. No, because you'll, them off you'll um, them. yeah, you'll kind of pull them off. Yeah, if it's not. So yeah, so I've layered this up here now. Just a little tip here: when you have working with this paper here, especially ones you put through crimpers yourself, okay? Yeah. Um, you don't really want to be putting glue onto this, okay? Right, okay. The reason being is it kind of pulls out the, the yeah, it'll film. iron it out. Won't so it, yeah. I would just run my glue on oh, my that's flat a good tip. piece okay. here first, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll just stick this down here. And I'm just going to go along the bottom. Now, it's quite nice to be able to see some of the wave, you know, the In wave the from the photo, picture. Yeah. yeah, so just pull it down so you can actually see that. Yeah. And then it actually then looks like, you know, you're continuous yeah. in the wave pattern there. In this um, pack is... Love this. Lovely yeah. pirate ship, yeah. okay? And also some of the, the little sails, sails yeah. here. So what I've actually done with these is I think the edges of them. I'll just show you here. This is one I've done This up is brilliant. I here, love this. Okay. So I've actually built this one up. And as you can see yeah. here, just by adding glue and a few foam pads just to make yeah. that raise and you've, up. And you've done like the stitching effect and that's just with a gel pen, is it? Oh, this just actually like... is just a pencil. Oh, just a yeah, pencil. Just oh, a brilliant. plain pencil, mainly because yeah. it gives it that rustic look. Yeah. You know? yeah. I, di I didn't want the shiny look, but if you wanted the shiny look, the silver yeah. gel pens would be really great with yeah. that. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to use some of these. These are lovely. These are the, the tickets. Yeah, the, nice the big labels. Pack of yeah. Loads and loads in there. Yeah. And they're really great. So I'm just going to again just ink round the edges here just very quickly and um, just to really just tone it in there, okay? And what I'm going to do is stick that just here on the left hand side of the layout. Now I'm going to just tuck it behind here, okay? Right up flush against that edge. Yeah. So this is kind of acting as a, as a backdrop there, okay? And then we're going to tuck in one of these. Now, the, oh, I love these. Oh, these the, the travel, travel notepad, notepad yeah. yeah. These are great for journaling, okay? So again, we're just going to tuck this one, but I'm going to tuck it at an angle, okay? Yeah. But again, being careful not to it's take away the main focus from here. So we'll just tuck that in to there, and it just says my travel notes, okay? 
so what I'd also done here, this is the Ahoy there. Yeah. And I've bought in um, one of the capsule collections, just the blue paper one there, yeah. the burly blue, and then I'm going to just literally use a bit of glue here just on the back. So try and cover that as much as possible. And then again, we're just going to use here some of the... These are some of the buttons from the capsule collection, the yeah. Spots and Stripe yeah. pastel one. So I've just picked out the kind of the the colours that go with here. Yeah. Now, as you can see here, I won't, I can't lift this up too much because I've used the glue. These will all run down. There's a little bit of a space here. Yeah. Now I just created with the scallop this this little die here. Yeah. That's in that pack as well, the nautical set too. Right. Okay. Of course, you can make little waves out of it, but it makes yeah. some fun little. Um, little bunting kind of oh, edges yeah, yeah, here yeah, okay yeah. and then there's one little bit here finally to put on. I think this is my favorite piece oh it's the, this gorgeous yeah, little anchor, yeah. anchor there yeah. that you can put in now just to make it a little bit darker because um, I love the craft paper is just gonna put some ink on here and then just lightly dab over it yeah okay so it will give you that rustic yeah effect adds there. a bit more definition to it doesn't yeah, it yeah that's it but Fantastic. I'm just literally gonna lay this Brilliant, look at that. There, so again, that will hold down. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's not sticking at the minute, but it will do. That's great. And can you see there? Fantastic, look at that. And then you've got that. Brilliant. Lay out there. Thank you so. very much. Now, I would love to see what you've done as well. Even if you were brand new to scrapbooking and this show has made you think, right, I'm going to have a go, that's it. Then take a photo, pop it into your DoCrafts gallery and then send me a link to tv at docrafts.com. And I would love to then show Becky and Brilliant. we can even look at featuring your project on a future episode. Now, thank you very much for joining us. Happy crafting.